Hello everyone and thank you for joining me here. My name of course is Mr. Mocha Lover and let's continue playing as Combined Syndicates of America. At the current moment we are getting ready to invade Panama, but I'm taking a look at what totalism really is. It's a specific ideology and a category sometimes given to name various radical left-wing ideologies with similar characteristics. As an ideology, totalism promotes a new direction for socialism in the world, emphasizing the role of the social state as a core ideal of the nation while devaluing or abandoning the Marxist ideas of the worker empowerment and a classless utopia. Totalists look to centralize and expand the government's powers in social states, believing that the goal of the government is to build socialism in the state and not to use nationalist and militaristic rhetoric. Uh, let's see. And policies. Due to their authoritarian nature, other authoritarian or totalitarian socialist ideologies have gained the name totalist even if they're not affiliated with the totalist charter. Now, why am I bringing that up? This is because someone commented on when I'm going to attack Canada. Because right now, I'm attacking a bunch of worthless South American countries, Central American, South American, Caribbean countries that no one really cares about, right? Well, that is because I don't want to get in a war with the Entente. Right now... The Entente is doing fairly okay, actually. Uh, they have Russia, which is getting beaten up by the Third International, both uh, mostly in Russia. They're stalemating here in Turkey. But Canada is taking out the Union of Britain. However, the Union of Britain is also doing very well in Scandinavia. So right now, I feel no need to really engage in a war with the Entente. However... White Ruthenia has just capitulated. That is a thick-ass Poland. Oh my god. You know, I don't care much for Poland usually, but this is nice. I like this. This is... Ooh, baby. Anyways, uh, if the Canadians or the Entente successfully manage and capitulate both the Union of Britain as well as the Commonwealth of France or the Prussian Republic or any of the major... two major countries within the Entente, which... Mashriq? What? If... If the Entente capitulates two of the major countries of the Third International, then I will go ahead and join them in the fight against tyranny called imperialism called the Entente. So, I mean, if it's just the Union of Britain, that's okay, since I do have hope that the German kingdoms, the German governments, will be able to do well against whomever. So that's why I've not attacked Canada yet. Besides, we have other nationalists we have to take care of in South America, as well as eventually take out Japan and stuff like that. Maybe even the Sino Coalition. We'll see what happens. Uh, I love seeing that the Bharatiya Commune is doing great. Really, really great, actually. Rouse the masses. Anyways, let's go ahead and go to war with the Panamanians. I think that's how you call people from Panama. They're Panamanians. We're going to go ahead and invade and hopefully do an okay job. Let's see. We have planes over here. I really need you to do the Panama Canal. That would be great. We are going. Our carrier... We do have one carrier also is, uh, out in our ships. That's also another thing about Canada. Canada actually has quite a few ships compared to us. We have... Or let's take a look at Canada first. They have up to 150 ships. They're on all adult serve, huh? They have 150 ships, but we only have... Actually, quite a few ships ourselves. Uh, let's see. That's 47, 48. 48 ships in our main fleet and another 52 subs in another. That's... Okay not great um oh you're still moving around oh okay you're still moving around that's okay hopefully but uh come on guys you guys can get panama how many divisions are you fighting you're fighting two somewhat well dug in divisions so i'm going to give you force attack button please don't die in the water at least take the capital if you can take the capital we should be able to win okay ish uh we're doing any yep some sure bombardment and let's continue going on. Also, I'm not done explaining why we're not going to war with the Entente just yet. Art Deco versus Modernism. For the most of the 20s and the 30s, the Art Deco art style was the dominant style of architecture, and from coast to coast, buildings were being built in the Art Deco style. However, a number of revolutionary architects within the SBA wished to break away from that style and seek a more modernist style inspired by the designs coming out of France, Italy, or Britain. Preservationists have come out in a force to counter that Art Deco is an American style that cannot be erased from political whims. Preservationists point to Diego Rivera's recent demolition of the Rockefeller Center artwork. After his modification of chiseling the faces of Marx and Lenin over Zeus and Thor were decried as being poor in taste. Which style should be supported? So actually, this is a really good turnaround to where I'm going to explain why I'm not going to war with the Entente yet. Hmm, <coughs> water is great. Anyways, so you see how much war is going on. Yes, we are currently recovering from our civil war, 
but our economic devastation is getting better by the day. Europe is still burning, literally burning. So by the time they're out of war, they're going to look for places to get loans, money, you know, money, loans, and goods and ideas from. So I'm planning that in the end, we can economically support the Third International, despite all the loss of life and money and ideas and goods, by sending supplies over there. Now, with a w prolonged war, they'll need to borrow more money and more goods, which means that in the future, they're probably going to look to us as one of the sole superpowers, you could say, of the world, in which we can then export our ideas to them. So I don't really want to preserve more European ideas, but I'm going to probably preserve Art Deco because that is more American ideas, more American totalist ideas. If you catch my drift. So that's why I also don't want to go over the Anton yet. I don't want to end the wars too quickly. And Panama's ours. And are they going to capitulate? No, they're not. Huh. Oh, they're close, though. They're pretty close. 92% of the way. Not bad. Does this have a... No, it does not. Need ports. Um. Oh, okay, cool. The subs eventually got down there. Can you send one division this way and see what... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was easy. So... We're going to continue avoiding any factions, but we will continue to invade South America. Because I want to create Gran Colombia. I don't know if Venezuela was a part of Gran Colombia. But we'll probably do that anyways. Let's see. Cool, cool, cool. Just go ahead and get down here if you can. We are invading. Great. Oh, three, three divisions from the Midwest. Illinois and Michigan and Illinois again. Losses. Six, less than 700 losses compared to basically 9,000 of theirs. Very good, very, very good. And you guys are where? Um, where are you guys at? Go ahead, come from here, and invade over here. And you guys are from here, and invade over. Oh, I don't know, David itself. Cool. And actually, since we're at war, let's go ahead and try to get another war justification. 125 days takes quite a while, but that's okay. It's only 1943. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm going to take you, I take both of you, invade from here, and invade this area. Yeah. Go ahead and do that. Oh, maybe there's... Oh, hold on. There's too many things going on. Nice. We get another research slot. Great, 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 great. Four divisions are going to try to attack there. That's fine. Oh, don't want to go ahead without researching something else. 1943. Better land night attack. And we're wrapping this up very nicely. If we can get to a new American re modified social revolution with quite a few good stuff. Equality for all sounds like a good idea next. Nice, we got a lot of factories, guys. That's great. And we're building even more military factories. Ah, oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Actually, how are our supplies? We Oh, we need some chromium. Um, Haiti? I don't want to give them too many factories. I still need some. But we definitely want more... Sh okay, ships, yeah. That's fine. Just give me as much chromium as I need. Oh, uh... Crap. That's better. All right, then. Wait, where are my subs? Oh, you're still... Why are you all the way over... Th this is going to take a while to invade them. That's all right. We got time. We've definitely got some time over here. Ooh. Actually. What if I just did this? And George, you come down here and do it as well. Just go ahead and do this area. You should... Can we go through here? Yes, we can pass. Subs cannot. But we can pass. Which is good. If you can go, go ahead. If you can go, go ahead. And Somalia was annexed by Abyssinia. Nice. Please don't release Somalia. Please just keep it like this. I like the less lag. Ah, very good. Sudwest Africa. Uh, is the German Emperor... Nope, nope. Still led by Heinrich. Alright, alright. 
You do you. Uh, looks like, yep, this is still a stalemate. Things are slowing down in Russia as the Union of Britain is getting taken out. So, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I guess they really small. God dang it. Indians are doing pretty well. The Indians that we like, of course. Oh, prisoners overflowing with reactionaries. Um, let's see. What are you guys... Guys, you have a job? You know, I'm going to probably have to ask Canada for naval access or something. Oh, they're not going to give it to us. All right, all right. Well, you know, maybe I'll just have to go to war with them for this then. Anyways. Uh, actually, we do have access through this area, so we should be able to go easily. You know what? Give me... Mm, I want one, two. You only need, you don't need that many divisions to do this. Down here. Invade over here. One, two. Invade from here to the airbase. That would be great. And go when you can. Anyways, prisoners, prisons overflowing with reactionaries. No one could have expected our crime and punishment system would become so overstuffed as to require this decision. Uh, the numerous small schisms in the SBA has left our government with its fair share of detractors as well as the expected resistance. Thousands upon thousands are being fed, clothed, and housed on our dime for the crimes against the people. Our more reform-minded are worried that prisons will be a breeding ground for reactionary thought. So working men should be diverted to work camps. There they will be able to pay back the state for what they stole from the people. Vanguards believe that we have been too lenient on these traitors and must execute the traitors of the highest standing in the prisons as the rebellion is surely to come. The Catholic Workers Movement strongly disagree and claim that exile and life elsewhere is the most Christian thing to do. Exile them? I'm not going to exile them, no. Because they could come back and bite us in the butt. Take the working men into the work camp. Sounds like a pretty good idea. And execute the traitors. Oh, he gets st Oh, stability. I love stability. Well, this would definitely send a message saying that if you rebel against us, you will get crushed. Even though I do like the working men into work camp as well. Um, we lose a thousand manpower, but we get a lot of stability. I like the stability. Let's do that. People, cut. people are expensive. Just remember that, guys. <clears throat> industry. Oh yeah, concentrate industry, please. Thank you very much. How is our carrier doing? And of course, other cruisers. It's an interwar cruiser with okay-ish, not great stats. All right, so be it. So be it. Educational revolution. A notable prof professor out of John Hopkins University by the name of John Dewey has been appointed Secretary of Education. In Dewey's eyes, the purpose of education should not revolve around the acquisition of a predetermined set of skills, but rather the realization of one's full potential and the ability to use those skills for the greater good. Yes, I'm talking very, very fast. In particular, he emphasizes that schooling must include hands-on learning famously stated, if knowledge comes from impressions made upon us by natural objects, it is impossible to procure knowledge without the use of objects which impress the mind. Dewey's detractors, notably the Catholic Workers' Movement, claim his politics are antagonistic to religious education. Ultimately, Earl Browder has decided to endorse Dewey's reforms. Yay, more political power. Uh, rebuild the West, and eh, who cares about the West? What else can we do here? Probably gonna use Bell. This is probably the best one. More air defense, max speed and reliability. Or we could produce more. Well, eventually, I want to produce more than enough, so we probably shouldn't need production. Ooh, but this gives you more range. Range, agility, which you really need. Or, we can do capital ship stuff. Oh, I can produce, oh, look at how fast we can produce those capital ships, 15% more? Yeah, but as long as you have ships and you have enough air cover with heavy fighters, you should be okay without too much of this. I mean, there's some really good stuff here, like, caters get more armor, you know, dreadnoughts get more armor and anti -air. I just want that range on those heavy fighters, though. All right, are you guys ready to go yet? How many more days? You got four days. I hope these four divisions can do it. And as Union Britain is dying, the Ger Germans are just kicking some serious booty. It's probably the, also mostly the French and the Socialist Republic of Italy doing that, but Romania is doing very well as well. I would be interested to see how the peace conference will work in this. Oh wait, Kingdom of Kingdom of France. Oh, that is wow. That's a small island of. Uh, Entente leadership in an ocean of the Third International. Actually, the f the Japanese are also at war with the Entente. I forgot about that. Interesting. So, 
Australia or Australasia might eventually go to war with uh, might they are at war with the Cold Prosperity Sphere, but very interesting. Seeing Russia getting attacked from two sides. That's the best way to attack Russia. Okay, so we've landed. We're doing great. Can do we really need supplies? No, we really don't. Good, 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 good. Because we are running out of supplies. So probably Panama is probably running out of manpower. Yes. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Good, 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 good. Since we'll have a little oasis here, how many divisions does Colombia have? 20 to 20, not bad, not a lot of manpower, but they are on like limited conscription. Ah, good, very good. I'm gonna take that for now. Rebuild the West, rebuild Alaska, fate of Panama. Very nice. Hmm. So, we've got quite a few divisions here. I think if I use Milton over there and Heike over here, that's only 14 divisions against a total maybe max of 20. That might not be enough for me to actually do what I want to do. Oh, oh nice! There goes the Dominion of India. But it might just be enough for us to push in. Huh. Because I'm thinking right now. Cool. Let's go ahead and set up a couple naval invasions, because I do want to take out the ports as fast as possible. You come from Panama to Barranquilla. And you guys attack from Panama to over here. Looks like there's another port or something over here. Yeah, there is. Great. We'll take another seven divisions, come from Panama. I'll land right here next to them. And then you will land, come from Panama, of course, to here. I really should separate all this stuff. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm going to do that. Leave you guys alone. Besides, I could go to war with the Entente, but my military isn't really great. I mean, it's, still, it's pretty good. I mean, we've got 19, 19, 24, 24. We could definitely crush the Canadians if we wanted to. But we can wait on that. <gasps> no, sorry. I thought we had created something else. I'm like, 14 cruisers or 14 battleships. I'm like, no, I, now I'm disappointed. Go ahead and come here. Uh, yeah. Actually, you you can't you do have access. Oh, it's because subs can't move through there. God dang it, subs! You just had to be stealthy. I'm gonna tell these guys to repair because you might as well. Great, great, great. Um, for now, I do want to create Grand Colombia or really a North, Northern South American juggernaut, which includes probably all of the Anton held territory, Venezuela, Colombia, and probably Ecuador. And maybe divide Peru in half, and then have a South American uh, economic totalist uh, government super juggernaut thing. So right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and transfer this territory to uh, the Socialist Republic of Haiti, which is really acting more like a placeholder because I don't want to deal with this stuff. And for make sure that these guys don't actually like come apart and rebel. We're going to just have them core it, but I'll uncore it later on when we actually create Grand Colombia. So don't rebel yet. Not yet. Alright, so what are we building? We're building up a lot of military factories, which is great, great, great. I know I'm looking at the ships right now. Looking good. Naval bombers are going to be very key. Do we need any sort of goods? we got a lot of guns. we got a lot of artillery. We could use tanks. We have equality for all planes. We want more planes. We're going to need some more rubber. Uh, do that, do that. And I will increase the amount of uh, ships we have. Artillery, naval bombers. Yeah, we're definitely going to get a lot of naval bombers. Quality for all. Great. And we'll have a new America, so we get more totalism and a little more political power to finish up this focus tree branch. Excuse me, I burped at the same time. So we have dreadnoughts, hold, dreadnought holes. Am I making or researching? I'm not. Another Dreadnought Hole, because it's 1943, we're almost in 1944, so we really should probably focus on the next Dreadnought Hole. Hmm. Even though, actually, these Dreadnoughts, they take forever to build. I mean, 20... What was it? Refit cost, production cost, almost 25,000? So much. Anti-air, I mean... But the, you know, the heavy attack, the heavy piercing, the armor? It's pretty good. Yeah, we have super heavy armor 3, so this is like, you know, your... Super heavy battleships from vanilla. So, you know what? I'm going to build like at least one more right now. Mm, 
Mm. <laughs> Syndicate Wolfpack Uno. I love it. Reserve fleet. Let's see. Let's go here. Oh, I do have a couple reserve ships, but those are just subs. Ah, uh, actually. Go home and dock. Come back here. Go to LA. And actually, I'm going to take off one sub. Because I'm going to put it down here. Combine. Since we do have some time before uh, we go to war with Colombia. Extraction could be really good as well. Um, we need more rubber. And extraction overall, so... Let's do that. Oh, nice. Six more divisions. Go ahead and throw them on to... You know what? Actually, 3-3 three, three view. And give me another 3 down here. That could be good. And... Oh yeah, we were doing naval stuff. Just going to let time go on as fast as possible so we can invade... Actually, Colombia, we might as well justify on the Venezuelans at the same time. Since it's going to take so long to, you know, get that finished. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's see. Ships. Wow. 52. Yeah, eventually we'll separate a lot of these ships out. Go ahead and do that. Zoom in all the way just so that the game might run slightly more smoothly. And we're going to completely ignore Europe for now. Oh, that's a really experienced uh, destroyer. Do you have any upgrades? No, you do not. I need to really research more naval stuff. Go ahead and combine with them as well. And actually, I might have just screwed up Wolfpack Uno. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Wait, no. Wait, no. I gotta actually give out another name. Reinforcing, reinforcing with... Dose. How do you spell dose? Subs. Dose. I can't remember how to spell dose in Spanish. Oh, well. Dose. I'm so freaking American. <laughs> uh, let's see. Young Blood Nance. Jesus, that's an awesome name. Young Blood Nance. That's, maybe Nance is okay, but... That's alright. And actually, let's see. You just let time go on. Subs, dose. Yes, there you go. Very good. Alright, so where are you guys? You are detached. You are over... Oh, you have to go around South America. That's why it's taking forever. And you are... Hopefully gonna go home. Oh, we can build more stuff. Great, 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 great. Build some more naval dockyards. In Texas, because Texas says nothing but naval dockyards. Actually, don't do Florida. Do up it. Do it up in Maryland, which has a ton of spots. But also, we need some more refineries. So there you go. Great. Could use more rubber. Yeah, I guess oil, but not really oil. Great, great, great. Let's take a quick look. The Union of Britain is desperately trying to hold on as Finland is rapidly falling to the Germans. Wow. And the Greeks are being helped heavily by the Third International, stomping out any sort of Russian influence in the Middle East. This is, I'm not going to lie, this is actually really cool seeing how Greece is coming back. This is actually really awesome. Anyways, resistance to social change. In an attempt to observe these changes in society that socialism is building, Congress has approved a roaming documentary to film the new America so that the world may know our progress. The film was shown to Congress a shock and revolution, or revulsion, with scenes government propaganda to face, continued social barring of women from workplaces, and a union representative changing a black worker nearly five times the going rate, or charging, for union membership. The director, King Vidor, has been advised by colleagues to make himself scarce as the reaction is not what he intended. Congress has demanded Vidor to release the names of those films so the crimes could be properly prosecuted. A minority of congressmen came to defend the film, claiming that this shows the systematic difficulty in forcing such revolutionary acts throughout the nation. These unpopular congressmen were then ejected from the building. Wow. Oof. Dang it, now we have negative political power. The rise of women-only unions. Oh. Uh, since the revolution, more and more women are entering into politics and technical fields. While in certain states, the transition to women's liberation has gone smoothly, in other places, the wave has impeded. Uh, a national poll has shown that the number of women's only unions have quadrupled in the past year. Wow. When interviewed, these women only unions claim persistent systematic discrimination in the fields of science and civil service. In the aftermath of this release, the planned women's caucus was canceled as the nation begins to debate the ethical application of women's liberation. Earl Browder has settled the debate by, by decrying both women's only union and the systematic discri discrimination, arguing that there are people to blame on both sides for discrimination. 
a revolutionary man, and women are equals. Yay, now we're back to positive political power. Time for a sip of water. Mm. No coffee for this episode, because I already had mine. I'll probably have round two later. Let's see. The Japanese aren't really pushing very hard, but then then again, this, this land probably doesn't have great infrastructure. Uh, Iran is not looking good. The Russian casualties mustn't... Ooh, that's not a lot of manpower. Service by requirement? Ooh, baby. Colombia. One nation, huh? Oh, in about 30 days, we can go to war within 30, 40 days. What does one nation mean for Colombia? Oh, this is a really hmm, different focus tree. It looked initially like... Um, like it was just a generic focus tree, but it's not. One nation, huh? The Crusade Against Syndicalism. Reclaim our legacy. Oh. Oh, they're going to try to become Grand Colombia. And they have claims on Galapagos Islands. So it looks like Grand Colombia will actually probably be my northern South American juggernaut. All right, Alaska. I'll, 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 make, I'll give you a little bit of love. And actually, for you guys, three of yeah, you three. Oh, the Robert E. Lee division is that allowed in this country? I mean, in this, in this, you know, faction. I want you three to at least make it down to here. How are you going to make it down? Are you going to walk through here, or Costa Rica, or something? Oh, the Barti Commune has ended hostilities with Canada, but that's okay since, I mean. The Baratia Commune does literally own two thirds of India. Uh, okay, so Nepal was annexed. Syrian Republic was annexed. Okay, so France is coming back to become another colonial power. And the Dominion of India was also annexed. Great job, guys. Great, great, great job. And we kind of like them. They kind of like us. I think we can make a great ally out of the Baratia Commune. Who knows? Maybe, you know what? Maybe I will actually join the Eastern Syndicalist Union instead of the Third International. Oh, oh wait, who? Um, Eastern Syndicalist Union has this territory. They're Jewish? <laughs> okay then, okay. Well then, uh, you, you, you do you. Nothing says India like Jews. Oh wait, the, oh, uh, the Bharatiya Commune declared war on the Bharatiya Commune. Oh, oh, is Fervor Reich? Is this Fervor Reich? We have an Indian revolt. Mohamdu Karamachan Gandhi has been an advocate of resistance to the brutal maximist regime of Subhas Chandra Bose and the Bharatiya Commune. While it's long stated that this resistance must be peaceful, the patience of those within the Algerian party have come to an end. New Algerian leader Nirmal Kumar Bose has issued a call for maximists to be toppled by force and an insurrection has immediately begun to spread throughout the nation. Gandhi said at the violence to be committed in his name has elected to retire from public life. So we had had one civil war. What about another? Wow. This is insane. That's pretty good stats. A Gearing Revolution, though. That's quite a bit of manpower. Oh, they're Radical Socialists. This, look at all the division they have between the Radical Socialists and the Totalists. I really want to help them out, but I'm going to be at war here very soon. I can send them seven divisions. How about four? I mean, by the time they get there, they have to come back anyway, so... Cool. Uh, a New America. Great, great, great. So we have a New America. Fully... Well, maybe not fully recovered from the American Civil War, but we're doing not badly. Disband the Red Guard. Uh, strategic Bombers. Anything here? I mean, this is all really great stuff to do. Fuel Capacity. Take to the Waters. That'd be great. Red Magic. Professionalize the Air Force. Carrier 2 technology. Anti-tank. I mean, but really, we got to focus on the Union of Socialist American States. Ah, oh, I can't wait. Oh, can we destroy Longest Terrace? Yes. Destroy Loyalist Terrace. Yes, that's what I meant. Yeah, how many more days until I go to war with Colombia? 22. 22 days. Ooh, it looks like moving through here is probably not a great idea. Go ahead and keep up the speed. Panama, you're doing great. Uh, we might need to improve the naval base here, just... To make sure that we get more um, flow of supplies through here. Streamline line. Great, great, great. But we really need to start focusing on better dreadnoughts, fast battleships. Um, let me see this. 
Uh, let's see, heavy attack is okay. Heavy piercing is okay. Max speed goes down. So 22, 31, 29. 22, 31, 29, 22. Oh! I lost 42. Oh, that's, that's quite a bit slower, but you do get the engine, which makes you a little bit faster. Huh. And we are building pretty good carriers. What's the production cost? 3,000 for the Advanced Dreadnought, and this one is 3,000? Well, I'll just do Advanced Dreadnought holes. I mean, yeah, it takes maybe a little longer, but it's the same speed in the end. And for you guys, I want you to go when you can. Uh, actually, I need those planes back, so... Just come to him, this guy. Yeah, there you go. Army 2, that would be great. Great, great, great. As long as Columbia does not want to go to war with us... For now, they have Canadian armament support. And doesn't look like they're going to get really helped out by anyone else. And the Garian revolt was annexed. Okay, so I sent them divisions. They finished their revolt. I get my divisions back. And I can't even go to war with Colombia just yet. Uh, we're going to finish out this episode by right before we go to war with the Colombians. So don't worry. We're still here. Um, wait, what? Um. Well, oh, shoot. Should not have done that. Uh, okay. Seems to be a little bit glitched at the moment. Uh. Also, I'm looking at something else. Whatever. Cool. Just give me this. All right. Anyways, land each distribution with the local class war with local warlords. From the mansions of the Rockefeller, the Morgans, the Carnegies, and the Vanderbilts to the sharecroppers who run company stores. The land of the United States still belongs to the capitalists. The worst example being Murphy Ranch out in California, which was a hive of silver shirt activity during the war and took months to serve out by our forces. It has been decided by the Congress to exercise expro on these estates. Many other southern and western estates have been given power or given over to the local communes and established as a public housing for the people. As expected, civilian armed resistance has cost us some lives, but few would have expected our own Red Guard to be ineffective at Expro. One particular tough nut to crack was in Montana, where the initial militia sent in turned traitor and held onto a large estate for its warlord owner for eight months before our Red Guard were forced to intervene. The program seems to be working, however, so there's no really any real reason to reconsider and we get some political power at the cost of a couple things. Who would have thought? Warlords. Well, China would have thought that, maybe. Ooh, baby. Yeah, let's do that. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Great, it looks like we can see everyone. And we can go to war with the Colombians, as this is still really heavily glitched for us. Not really sure why, but with that in mind, guys, we've got to end the episode here today. Tomorrow we will begin the invasion of Colombia and Venezuela and basically create Grand Colombia once again, and then focus on the rest of South America, which is actually going to take us quite a bit of time, just because if I attack one nation, I'm going to have to fight all of them. So that'll be very interesting to watch and for me to figure out how to effectively deal with all these potential enemies. So with that in mind, uh, this is the world as we see it. Barty economy is nice and thicker. Uh, Third International is doing well. Actually, Britain is kicking out some of the Canadians. That's great. And I will see you tomorrow. Leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and like I said... I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys.